Alright guys, we're going to be solving another question from the third chapter of the Merriam textbook, Statics. And we have this wall mountain 2.5 light fixture that has its mass center at point G. We can see the center of mass in the figure. And we need to determine the reactions at A and B. And also we need to calculate the moment supported by the, adju by the adjustment thumb screw at point C. So the moment that we're going to have in this point. And we have a note at the end of the question that the lightweight frame ABC has about 250 millimeter of horizontal tubing directed into and out of the paper at point at both A and B. So as always, we need to start with the free body diagram. We are in equilibrium. And if we just draw the free body diagram for the entire unit, consists of the lamp and everything in here and the two reactions that we have at point a and b let's see what we have in these two so we can see that the movement at point a is restricted at both x and y direction so ax ay at point b we can see we only have normal force which we can just show it in this direction i'm just taking one random direction for now and at the end, if we'll, if we'll get a negative answer, that shows that our assumption for these directions are not correct. And obviously, we have the weight of the lamp, which would be vertical. The mass is 2.5. And if we want to find the weight, we're going to multiply mass by acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81 meter per square second. So 2.5 times 9.81. And this is going to give us the force in Newton's. So we are in equilibrium, we have three equations, sum of all forces in x equals zero, same for the y, and we can have one moment equation about any point that we want. But here, since we have the most unknown at point A, it makes sense to start with the moment equation about point A, that way we get rid of ax and ay. So we're going to have the moment of bx, which is a clockwise moment about point A, so negative bx times the position vector would be the vertical distance from A to the line of action of BX, which is 230. And we don't need to do the unit conversion for the millimeter because it will be canceled out anyway. So no need for that. And we're going to have the moment of the weight, which is counterclockwise. So positive 2.5 times 9.81. Again, the vertical distance from A to the line of action of the weight, which is... 200 plus 100 or 300 this will be equal to zero and we can find the first unknown bx basically 2.5 times 9.81 times 300 divided by 230 let's see what we get 9.81 times 300 divided by 230 this is going to give us 31.99 newton so now if we just do some of all forces in y in x direction equals zero, we're going to have only ax is unknown. So ax minus bx is equal to zero, which means ax is also 31.99 newtons. Again, no negative sign. Our assumption for the directions was correct. And last one, just do the sum of all forces in y equals zero and ay minus the weight equals zero and ay would be 2.5 times 9.81 let's calculate this this is going to give us 24.53 newtons so so far we found all the reactions at a and b but the question is also asking for the moment supported by the adjustment at point c and for that part we're just going to consider the this part of this light and if we just draw the free body diagram for that part so let's just assume this is our point c so uh, basically we are doing a section in that point so we're going to do our section in here and we're going to analyze the left part of the free body diagram which is basically the weight that we have which we figured is 24.53 newton i will have all the reactions at point c which we're going to have CX, let's just consider CY, and one moment, which is the one that the question is asking. And for finding the M in here, just have to find the 
moment about point let's call this point maybe f character was positive as always and here we're gonna have the moment of the weight about that point which is the force the moment is also counterclockwise so plus 24.53 times the distance from f to a line of action of the the w or weight actually this f in here is our c so it really it doesn't matter whatever name that we wanted to assume and that distance, if we look at the figure, we'll see that it's 100 millimeter. So times 100 millimeter plus, we assume our moment is also counterclockwise equals zero. And I did a unit conversion in here because I want to find the a moment in Newton meter. So negative, first of all, and it's going to be 2.4. 53 newton meter and the negative sign in here shows that the moment is clockwise and yeah that that's the final answer for this question hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care i'll see the next one